Okay, you guys, welcome to part four of the five-part series of learning how to crochet. In this part four, we're going to learn how to turn our work. Okay, so as you see before you, I have the double crochet and I have my hook. And so when you're getting ready to turn your work, when you get to the end of your chain, um, if you're doing a single crochet, then um, I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so you come to the end of your double crochet. Okay, so once you come to your double crochet, this is tall. So you need to chain two. Okay, so we remember you uh, learned how to do the chain. So we need to, to make it match this length of our double crochet, we have to chain two. When you are doing a single crochet, then you will chain one because it is um, uh, it is smaller, okay? So to match the width of this stitch, we are going to chain two. And you would do this if you are double crocheting our single crochet, you would do this at the end of each row when you are working a pattern, okay? When you are crocheting. So we are going to chain two, one and two, okay? See what that looks like, okay? And so now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna turn it. So this is how you turn your work, okay? You basically just Turn your work, okay? <laughs> I know you guys got that. That was like, just like amazing, right? <laughs> because we're going to do it again, okay? And the funny thing about this, it's not really funny, but the thing about this is there are so many people that do not, do not know how to do this, okay? So remember our work was this way. And we did our chain two, right? So we did our chain two, right? And once we did our chain, once we did our chain two, all you do is turn your work, okay? And when you when you turn your work, put your hook back in, or you can even leave your hook, okay? So here it is, and I'm gonna have my hook in here because I just finished my chain two, and then I'm just gonna take go right here and turn my work, okay? And that's turning, that's turning my work, okay? Now we're gonna work back that way. So when you are working, when you turn your work and you are working, now you are working in your back work okay because this way is the front way right and this is the back okay so in your crochet pattern or not crochet pattern in your whenever you crochet um and if you're doing a single crochet or a double crochet you have these little um stitches Okay, and so what they are, they're the stitches from this way, from the front, okay? And so, which is your Vs. You see your Vs? Let me put this hook down so you can really see. Okay, so this is the front part of your work, okay? So there's your Vs. We worked in the Vs. We know about the Vs, okay? When we turn our work, okay, we are working in our V's because there they are right there, which now is stitches and we are working in them from the back. Okay. So let me show you how you identify that. Okay. So right here, you see an opening right here, right? So you want to take your hook. Let me get me some yarn, okay? Because you see your 
your opening right here and the good you pull it apart so you can see it that's the good the beauty of crocheting i love crochet so much you guys from just the instant gratification to the loop you know you can you know pull it apart and find stuff and i love it okay so you can open this up and you will see that opening right there and if you turn your work to yourself you can see that that is a stitch, right? Because see, there's that V right there. There's that V right there. And so you want to take your hook, you, you want to do your double crochet right there in the beginning, okay? So we want to yarn over and we want to insert our hook into that stitch right there, okay? So once we put our hook in that stitch, remember in the double crochet, we had three on our hook. We want to yarn over, bring up the loop, right? And we want to yarn over and go through two. And we want to yarn over and go all the way through, okay? And so that's basically what you're doing down the whole row of the work. So let's go. Um, I, I'm pulling the work apart so I'll be able to see the stitch, which is your V. There's your V right there, your stitch. And I want to put my hook inside that, that um, space right there, that um, chain. Not no chain. That's not a chain, you guys. That is a stitch, right? A chain, a foundation chain was at the beginning. And this is a stitch because we've already worked stuff in it, okay? So into that stitch right there. So we want to yarn over, put our hook inside that stitch, bring up the loop. So we're basically doing the double crochet, okay? All right, pull your work apart again, and there we go. We're going to slip our hook inside of that stitch. We're going to yarn over, bring up a little, we have three, okay, that double crochet right there. Okay, and so could you see how this is becoming just... It's working up. It's so beautiful. <laughs> We're working it up. So let's do it. We're going to do it across the whole row. So I'm going to do my double crochet inside. And so here is right there. There is my stitch that I'm going to work my double crochet in. So I'm going to yarn over. Okay. All right. Let me pull my work apart so I'll be able to see it. And my next one is right there. So I'm going to put my double crochet right there because that's what I'm doing. Give me some more yarn. I'm doing a double crochet. Okay? Okay? I know you guys got this. You got it. Pull your work apart if you need to. There's my next stitch right there that I'm, I'm going to insert my hook. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to put my double crochet in that stitch. And there I go. Oh, my word. How exciting. Let's go. I'm going to pull my work apart again so I can see where my stitches are were my stitch that I need to put my double crochet in. Okay. And this is you just working in the back of your, you know, back of your work. Cause you, when you crochet, you work like this, um, back, you know, backwards and forwards. And, um, in the beginning, um, crochet have so many, um, elements to it and it's just so beautiful but right now we're going to do this <laughs> we're learning this right now <laughs> and so we're okay so the next one goes right there pull my work a little bit 
it goes right there. Okay. And then if I turn it, let me show you. If I turn it, here's the stitch right there. And I'm working underneath that stitch. Okay. So underneath that stitch. And I'm doing my double crochet. Okay. There we go. There's our other one right there. So let's work underneath that stitch because it's showing us, which is right there. Slip our hook in there. Put our double crochet in there. Get some more yarn. Okay. And here it is right here. This is our next one. You can see it. It's right there. Okay. Let's put our double crochet because we're doing double crochet. <laughs> That's what we're doing. And there. Okay. And so when you come to the ending, you guys, now this can be so tricky uh, for people because they, they don't know where to put their stitch at. Okay. So if you take your work and pull it apart, Okay, so we have all this here. Now, if you look right here, this is the stitch, okay? And I'm going to turn it towards you, and then you can see what I'm talking about, right? So this is the end of our stitch. I don't know if you can see that, but right here, right there, that's our, that's the ending of our stitch. And usually when you work your way all the way down, you will see, um, your stitch on the side. If you just turn it to the side and see, even if I turn it to the side, you can see that V, right? And so we want to work underneath that V and then that would be our, um, our last stitch. Okay. So let's put our double crochet into that last B. And we're working under, underneath it. And, and I'm like, yes, struggling a little bit, but it's okay. Oh, what you know what I didn't do, you guys? Can you tell me? Yeah, I didn't yarn over. I am doing a double crochet. So excited. <laughs> I forgot to yarn over. <laughs> so we want to yarn over and we want to work in that stitch we want to bring up that loop and there we go we want to finish our double crochet okay you guys and that's it that's turning your work working in that back part of it of your work um and then you it, it you want to keep going right so what do we do? We, when we get right here, we chain two, right? Because we're working in a double crochet. If we was doing a single crochet, we would only chain one. And then we will go across our row. But since we are working a double crochet, we are chaining two. So one and then two. And then what do we do? Turn it! <laughs> <laughs> and we do the same exact motion here we go here if you pull your work apart you will see that stitch where you will place your hook right there there they are right there in between right there okay all right you guys <laughs>